Afternoon everyone. Well, I thought we'd have another little play about and I hope I've I never expected to use this more than once to be honest, but anyway, might have made a better job. Anyway, see if we can get a bit more light on it. I've dropped the bulb down, made an extension, and dropped the bulb down, and I've got the table lamp, we seem to run out of a bit brighter light, but hopefully you'll be able to see it a bit better because it's you know we might only be playing with this, but I don't. I normally call myself good enough to be able to see the uh, to see what I'm doing on the videos. They're not, I've had to brighten all the others, but this one, it, hopefully, it's a bit brighter now. Anyway, we don't play. What I'm going to do is I uh, I'll show you when I take it off <laughs> with my little face plate I've got that you've seen and that's mounted on and glued a my other bit of wood that I made that bowl with so while it's on I'm just going to knock the edges off at slow speed and then Mike's asked how you get them off when you park them off cool. but I'm not very good at that anyway I need some little blocks making some mounting blocks so I'll just uh, mount a couple on and we'll have a little play with that and while we're at it, I'll show you how I change the speed. So while it's on here, I'll just round it up. Simply because it'll, um, that's it, it'll give me an idea how big it is then. Right. Making a mess again, aren't we? So, what I'm going to do now, I'll move the camera over here and I'll sh show you what we're doing to uh, what I've done so far and how I've done it because I'm not, I don't mind if anyone much watches it but you know if one person I know one person like it said so so I'll just show you what I've done so far that's all just, I was going to put three bolts, little set screws in here, but one's enough. And uh, so what I did, I put one in and cut it off, and it's true enough. And you've only got one to put in, and I'm lining it up with that. So that's simple, isn't it? Now, and you see, we've got a, a nice little face plate, haven't we? With sorts on there. So what, what all I'm going to do now is I'm going to mark that there. So that it, and with that level with that, and then I know I'll put it on the same and it'll be roughly the same because I haven't trued it up or anything yet, so that'll be plenty good enough. Well, I've got some little blocks cut off, look, just for some pieces to play with, mount stuff on. So, um, I'll put one of these on if I, um, if I did any amount of anything, I would get sorted out. The trouble is, I've had a, well, a few decent tools, but, you know, I've had them for a long, long time, and without doing very much, you know, they're all a bit worn out, and most need replacing, and I had 10 years boating, so no complaints, but, you know, when you're on a boat and you're doing work and that, and then I did me a bit of racing, didn't I? You do it, well, it wasn't proper bangers, was it? But you're doing that, and... You know, I had one or two decent tools and replaced them and that angle grind. Well, they soon get ruined, don't they? You know, don't matter how good you are. Anyway, that definitely is on. So we'll put that one on, put them out of the way. Now it's a lot quicker and easier now, isn't it, to do, you see. So we're getting in a, a bit of a line. Because I can't show you. That change speed, which doesn't take half an hour now, and I've managed to do it where I don't hurt myself. So there we are. Now you want to come in a bit, don't you? Hang on. This light, this all the lights made a difference, you know, haven't it? Now to see what I'm doing now. Hopefully.
Right, I'll show you how to change gear now. It's, uh, <laughs> right, you press the button. It's, it's not quite as quick as some, but it's, uh, it serves a purpose. Right, you, get me out of that way. Just hold that with some grips. There, doesn't have to be held very tight. And you take this nut off. Like that. And the end of this shaft, you see. And then get the washers. Oh, I thought I was organised. And because uh, this is the first time that I've, it's not the first time I've done it, I've tried it. I've just got to check where the belt goes. That's too wide. Yeah, take a couple off. Try that. I'll see if it touches. Yeah, that touches. I reckon we might be able to get this one on as well. Let's try that. As I say, it wouldn't go tight, is it? If I was. There we are, that's holding. Yeah, so it's um, it's not quite as laborious as before, is it? And as I say, because I'm, oh, I've been in bed for probably 40, 20 years. Well, I'm 67 now, and I'm 43, so it's 25 years, isn't it? But uh, just a minute, I'm a bit of a wuss. So you just put that on there and cross it, and that will go on there. And then tighten it, all you need to do is just tip the camera slightly. There. There's little, I've only got these little bolts. Like I keep saying, you know, there we are. Right, I'll just move it back here and set it up again. And for a bit of fun, might want to see it parted off. Well, I ain't got me. Let's see it. I made a parting off tool out of that saw blade. And, uh, you know, so we can try it. I've never had any success with parting off, actually. Just for a bit of fun, because it's on your roof, and we're not messing about. We're only messing about, aren't we? I'll, uh, I'll pretend to make a little knob or something and part it off. See if it works any better. But, uh, and make a decoration or something. Cause I need it. It's only practice, isn't it? It's only a bit of fun. Right. Because I'm soft with this. You know, that's not. That's not too bad actually. Right, I'll use this one because it's. Uh, and just. Uh, there we go. any soft wood actually if that was sanded up it wouldn't be that bad actually it wouldn't it wouldn't be that bad right I'm not going to play about setting the rest of it I'm just going to hold it on to the other Move this rest round there and face it a bit, but that'll do. Right, so part it off, you can do it like this. Here I might, I don't like doing this by the way, this way. 
I like doing the hat sort. There's a safe way of doing it, and this is the way I normally do it. You can do it with a hacksaw. And this, uh, it does work, this does. It's very easy. As I say, I've never had much of a plastic part in So you can do it that way. And you can do it this way. My cast going, you get it off when it's glued on, and you can part it off. If I had a proper parting off tool, obviously it would make a big difference, but I haven't. So, uh, you can, as I say, I made that with a hacksaw, but it, it needs a bit of work as you can see. But anyway, you can do it this way quite easily. You just hold your hacksaw like that. Right, of course. No, it's going to have to work. Hold it on there. Hold it on there. Comes off. And I, I wasn't quick enough to catch it. There you are. Anyway, Mike, that's how you get your wood off when you glue it on. So there's my little play thing I've done. And I've got a nice. Uh, I've got a nice little bit there that I can face that off now and glue my next piece on to do that. I could of course make that grind it down and make that into a parting off tool but it should be what you've got to do is I can show you on here you hold that that must be actually it must be a bit stunter but with it being actual blood, I didn't want that end to fly off. Um, that wants to be a bit stunter actually. And what you do is you hold it on the wood. Let me see if we're in the. On, say that's what you're parting off. You hold it on the wood like that, high up on your piece there, and then with you just bring the point down, and the back of it supports it. So. We know how to do it, it's just with the equipment, do we? but it doesn't matter. As I say, we're only playing. But it's certainly better going a bit faster, isn't it? I mean, there's a little bit there, that's not very good on the end bit, but if you can see that bit there without sanding, I mean, that's not come too bad, does it? Still not going fast. You know, I could, if I was turning knobs and things, I would turn it up at the end and, you know, and run it a lot faster. But that's certainly better than it was, isn't it? And so now I've got it, I can go slow enough, you know, and a bit faster. So I've got an intermediate speed, which is still too slow, but um, it's better than miles too slow, isn't it? Right, that'll do for that. 